What's up, One Pride Nation? It's your boy King, man. Finally, uh, got some time to sit down and do a review of the game today: Detroit Lions versus the Giants. Um, tough, tough, tough loss, man. Tough loss, especially knowing that you know you could have won that game, um, but that was derailed by missed opportunities. Uh, Zach Zinner, he absolutely killed us. With that fumble, man, the Lions had some some good momentum going, man, and he killed us with that fumble. The one job that you have to do as a running back, you couldn't do, which is hold on to the ball. He had that ball carrying in one hand while he had a guy hanging on him, and another guy came in, and his helmet popped that ball out, man. You got to wrap that ball up with two hands, man. You should know that. That's fundamental. Um, I feel like Jim Bob Cooter was dialing up run plays a little bit too much um i'm a guy i believe in do what works i don't i don't like conservative football some people say you have to establish a run game no you don't um the lions haven't had a run game all year and haven't been able to establish one man so why are we still trying to establish a run game? You know, it's it's ridiculous that it's week 15 and you're still trying it. If Matthew Stafford is completing passes and, um, you know, he's getting 30 yards and he threw a 67er, I think, to um, the Golden Tate. So you're still trying to run the football. It's just beside me. So um, with that being said, that was just bad play calling for me. Um, a lot of the little short, little tricky little plays he could have left that alone. Put some pressure on that secondary, especially um, since Jenkins went out. You should have really been putting pressure on that secondary. Um, you know, big blow with Darius Slay going out, man, uh, with the hamstring hamstring issues. He have his MRI tomorrow, so hopefully uh, it's no damage. You know, something that he can recover. From from fairly fast man um but the lions uh missed the opportunity to go in there and beat the giants today man um you know with us losing green bay won uh by a field goal against uh chicago so with that being said i believe it's gonna come down to the last week of this uh the season between green bay and the detroit lions man uh, we're not about to go into Dallas and win without Darius Slay um, and without some competent play calling from the coaching staff and and especially, you know, Jim Caldwell not going for it. That's another thing. I mean, come on, what do you have to lose, man? You have to stop being so conservative. I cannot stand conservative coaches. Mix it up. I mean, be be, uh, I can't stress enough, man. Just so predictable. Just Caldwell is so predictable, man. You know, it's unbelievable, man. Just go for it. Six yards. You mean to tell me you don't you don't have enough faith in Stafford to get six yards, man? He can probably run for that. But you punt the football, which you know, why you not going for? It, you end up punting anyway. So why why the fuck not just go for it? But anyway, um, yeah, coaching staff, you know what I'm saying, just did not do a good job today whatsoever, man. Um, the defense was okay. Uh, you know, a few slip-ups here and there. The big slip-up at the end that cost us because of Asa Jackson. And, you know, he's, oh, he's retardedly garbage, man. Um you know, we, we losing big, big, big players, man, on the defensive end, um, you know, with Slay out and we lost, uh, lost our other corner, man. So not today. I'm talking about, you know, uh, previous games. So Diggs, um, you know, losing him too. So I don't know. Lions, you know. You want to try to commit to the run game, but you release Brandon Pettigrew, which was a good run blocker. You don't have good run blockers, man. You should have kept Pettigrew. Anyway, you don't. Uh, you, you're not giving up. No news about John Bostick or Mayor Abdullah. 
you know what I'm saying, you have a time limit to activate one of these guys. Lions, I don't know, they're just too conservative, man. Adrian Peterson, even though he fumbled today for the Vikings, still at least he had enough balls to get back out there on the field, man. You you need your guys out there. Even if you're not going to play Abdullah a, a lot, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what exactly his health um, is right now. Only the last thing I heard was that the doctor said his foot healed tremendously. Uh, and I don't know what's going on with that, man. But if if he's available, why not just bring him back? Because teams are, if they know that you have him at your disposal, they're going to game plan against that. So I'm saying just bring him back. You know what I'm saying? If you can, if he can, if he's capable, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know too much about that. That's a cloudy situation because the Lions keep everybody in the dark. So I don't know, man. Um, but just missed opportunities today. A lot of missed opportunities, man. A lot of missed opportunities for the Detroit Lions, man. On top of the refs, you know, doing what they do best you know fucking us just fucking us over man i don't know how the hell you missed that damn call dude i don't know how you call that a catch how do you miss that man and how you know i don't care i don't care if it was you know at the beginning of the game you know i still would have threw a challenge flag it ain't like you would have lost a timeout because it was so fucking obvious you know what i'm saying I still, you don't, I mean, come on, Jim Caldwell, you don't, you don't really, cha you don't really challenge many plays in the first half anyway, if you got something that wide and blank, point blank, just, just throw the fucking flag, that, you know, just don't know, them yards could have fucking helped, so, it, I mean, like I said, it's a game of inches, you know what I'm saying, I'm not getting down on them too bad for not doing it, but I, me personally, I would have did it. But, yeah, the refs, man, blind is a bat out there today, man. Just just missing calls, man, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not really going to blame the, the refs too much this game. Yeah, they were terrible, as usual. I expect that. But, I mean, come on, man, you know what I'm saying? Just too many missed opportunities, man. So, my donkey of the day is Zach Zinner. I feel like he blew the game for us. Um, that's that, man. That's that. You know, on to the next game. We go against Dallas. It's going to be super, super tough. If if any way possible to beat these cats, man, because, you know, we're missing some players right now, man. So, um, and containing, you know, Elliot is going to be a problem because, you, you, you know, the Lions, at times, they struggle against certain running backs, man. So, and with that offensive line Dallas got, it's going to be tough to stop Ezekiel Elliott, man. So, you know, you're missing Slay, and you got to deal with Des Bryant now without Slay. So it's going to be tough to try to win. I'm looking forward to Green Bay. Um, Green Bay almost fucking lost today, uh, but they end up winning by a touchdown. They let the Bears come all the way back, um, you know, and, Green, and, and the Vikings got the snot beat out of them today. So we'll see. We'll see, man. Week 17, we'll see. So, it's your boy King. I'll catch y'all later.